Hello and welcome to a video from me on Battlefield Bad Company 2. So you're probably thinking, well, what's he doing showing Battlefield Bad Company 2? Well, believe it or not, these, this used to be one of my favourite first-person shooter games ever. In fact, I actually loved the first one, Bad Company 1, more than I did the second one. And that was on way back when we used to play on the Xbox 360. I don't know what it was that made me want to re-download it again. I think I just randomly saw a video saying, will there ever be a Bad Company 3? And I thought, oh my god, tell me there's going to be a Bad Company 3. And fortunately, it doesn't look like there is. I really, really don't understand why DICE never made Bad Company 3. It was so popular. It was completely different. It feels different to any of the other Battlefield games. It had... Uh, the destruction was amazing, which we didn't get that in Battlefield Buggy 4, did we? And, and even in Battlefield 3, where was the destruction? It just wasn't there at all. Being able to see somebody on the top of a top floor of a building and knowing you can get an RPG or a grenade in there and it would just blow some of the wall away or a tank or drive through, that was cool. It made the battlefield dynamic rather than feeling sterile. And you were limited to four objects. Uh, as the, well, well, a weapon, pistol, um, a gadget, and I forgot what the other one was. Like a team buff, like uh, ammo or medics and things like that. Made the game a lot simpler. A lot of people may think, well, it made it a little bit arcadey, but I really, really, really enjoyed Bad Company. I probably put double the amount of hours into Bad Company 2 than I did Battlefield 3 and 4. Um, and I just wanted to revisit it on the PC, Just to, I wondered if it was going to be busy or popular and I'm actually playing this through Steam. And yes, there's still a lot of servers, so that, that really does show you how good this game is. What, six years on? And of course there was also Battlefield Vietnam as well, which I think I'm going to download again because I've just jumped in now and you can see the vehicle on the screen and just the carnage and just everything. I've just played it for half an hour and you know what, I'm absolutely loving it again. Absolutely loving it again. It may be a bit of nostalgia because I haven't played it for a while, but it just feels really cool to get in and play. Another thing I think that people forget a lot about this game was the audio. The audio was absolutely fantastic. Really, really cool, as you can hear on this grand. Uh, when you hear me start firing in a minute. The, the audio is awesome. By the way, I love the M1 grand. The audio, for me, pulls me in. Grand versus RPG, who's going to win? <laughs> he did. Bastard. Yeah, the audio was good, and I remember you could put it on war tapes, which was slightly over-distorted, but if you had a 5.1 system, it was absolutely fantastic. The game is a lot faster, as I've said. Some people may think it's arcadey, but if you want something that's really cool, get in, have an absolute blast, then download, re-download Bad Company 2, um, send us a PM and we'll jump in and have a game and as I said that goes for Vietnam as well I may do a video on Vietnam um, but at the minute ju jumping back in this is just great fun really really enjoying it another thing I think that made this game stand out more than Battlefield 3 and 4 is the map design I can't quite put my finger on what it is about the, the maps that were so good um, Harvest Day was just a classic which was why it came over from Bad Company 1 straight into Bad Company 2. And the maps just seemed quite diverse. Dare I say it, the maps in Bad, um, Battlefield 3 and 4, three, some of them were alright, like the oil fields and the other ones, but they just felt, Battlefield 4 just felt a little bit boring. Even though I got the um, premiere pack, I never actually... Got a boy myself! Oh, sorry, it's early in the morning. I never actually finished the entire expansion pack. Um, I knew the last one, the final stands, come out. I've just got no excitement to go back in it. Maybe because it was so buggy. Um, I don't know what it was, but I, I would love to jump in and play some uh, Bad Company uh, 2 with, with my mates. Since um, we're in 16 AA and the armor is quite serious, and this is just cool to jump in. And there is quite a good team play in this, especially when you get in a squad. You know, you get the assault medic and everything else working together. It is a really good game. Um, 
you can pick this up on Steam and Origin. I think you can pick it up on King Win GTA now for about six, seven quid. So it's an absolute bargain, absolute bargain. But anyway, this has just been a quick look at some nostalgia and one of my all, all time favourite games, multiplayer games. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like the nostalgia or even if you want to jump in and have a game with me. I've been Para. Thanks for watching and you've been looking at a video from Armour Universe. See you on the bad battlefield.